Hello everyone, welcome back to another Elden Ring DLC tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Red Bear's Claw and also the Iron Rivet Armor Set. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let me show you exactly how to get this amazing weapon. So in order for you to reach the part where the weapon is, you want to head to the northwestern part of the map over here by the Temple Town Ruins. So we want to head to the Temple Town Ruins side of Grace right here. And from here I'm going to show you exactly the path you have to take, which is not very far, to reach the enemy that will eventually drop the weapon. So over here there's going to be one of those spirit springs that take you up. And then over on top of this plateau, that's where you'll find the northern mausoleum, where the enemy will be located. So from the side of Grace you want to hop on your horse, and head this way here by the temple town ruins they're over to our right so keep going straight and then behind these buildings right here by the cliffside is going to be the spirit spring but we'll need to activate the spirit spring because it is not by default activated so over here to the right as you can see here's the spirit spring but as it stands if it has this pile of rock in the middle it means it's not activated then you turn right over here, just back this way. That's where you'll find the pile of rocks that you have to hit. Just simply, and once you destroy it, the spirit spring will be activated. Now you just want to head back to the spirit spring. Don't forget to be on your horse, otherwise you cannot ride the spirit spring up. And once you get on top of this first part, you'll see there is a second spirit spring, but this one doesn't need to be activated. So just go ahead and go right over to the spirit spring. Once you reach the top of the mountain or the plateau, just go straight ahead and down there you'll see a little hut kind of thing and that's the entrance to the mausoleum. Inside, immediately, you'll face the red bear enemy and that's the enemy that you have to defeat to get the red bear's claw and also the armor set. So there are two weapons that you can use to defeat this boss or any weapon at all but I'm using Euporia plus 10 because this weapon got really buffed after the latest patch, patch 1.13. The other weapon that you might want to use as well that I also use for Rakshasa is the Relic Sword which is a sword that you get for defeating the Elden Beast. The sword is really great because you can attack these enemies from a distance and you will stagger them so you just keep spamming the special attack until you defeat the enemy. This one is really good to attack the enemy as well because it has a lot of quick attacks that deal a lot of damage and all you have to pay attention to is your life obviously and then you just can once in a while use a special attack to take most of the enemy's life. And as you can see we have just defeated Red Bear and now we'll earn Red Bear's Claw and also the armor set. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions about how to get here please leave a comment down below and i'll try to help you i'll see you on the next video